If you're a real crypto fan, you need to get to know Cardano, the world's third largest crypto, which has one of the largest and most vocal followings of any digital currency. With lots of really interesting projects on the horizon, a name that rolls off the tongue, and a founder who loves to pump his product, <clears throat> Elon Musk. Cardano is on the move. Cardano is a blockchain platform that uses a consensus mechanism called proof of stake or POS to validate transactions. But I'm a vegetarian. Cardano's native currency is called ADA or ADA with a maximum circulation of 45 billion ADA coins. I'll trade you 100 Cardano for 100 ADA. This cap of 45 billion ADA is part of Cardano's appeal, and it's like Bitcoin in this regard, which can only mine 21 billion coins, but it's unlike its major rival, which is Ethereum, which doesn't have any set number of coins to be created. Now, speaking of its creation, it's always important to learn why a crypto was created in the first place. And when it comes to Cardano, it was founded as the world's first peer-reviewed blockchain. Specifically, it was designed by leading developers, academics, scientists, and engineers across multiple continents in 2017. However, by far its most prominent developer is Charles Hoskinson, an American who was also a co-founder of Ethereum but was later pushed out of that project. Like most other cryptos, Cardano was designed to be decentralized and not controlled by any one person or entity. Though open source, there are several independent and decentralized organizations ensuring that Cardano stays true to its purpose. Now, what's really interesting about Cardano is that it's a third generation crypto, meaning that it was designed to improve upon the first two generations, namely Bitcoin and Ethereum, both of which were created using the proof of work mechanism, although Ethereum has since migrated to proof of stake. In short, Cardano has adopted a pretty bold mission to blend the best of Bitcoin and Ethereum all wrapped up into one peacemaking and world-saving cryptocurrency. And the world Let's talk for a moment about Cardano's technical aspects. There are two layers to Cardano's platform, the settlement and control layers. The settlement layer is that which settles transactions of ADA, which of course is Cardano's native currency. Meanwhile, the control layer runs smart contracts, which stays on top of all of the decentralized applications that are running on the network. So how exactly do all of these layers function? Well, here Cardano's proof of stake protocol called Ouroboros improves upon existing platforms by using a lot less energy to make new coins by being faster, by charging less fees, and by being interoperable with other ecosystems. Did he just say interoperable? No wonder he doesn't have any friends. Cardano was also designed to be scalable and to be used by literally billions of people all over the world for all kinds of daily needs such as banking, buying and selling, voting, executing smart contracts, and running dApps or what are called decentralized applications. This may sound like nonsense to you, but believe me, this is a big deal. Now, if you're interested in crypto, then Cardano has a lot to offer, and a lot of people are really excited about all of the things it will be able to do. To date, for instance, there are already a lot of projects being built on the platform, and we should expect even more decentralized applications or dApps running on it in the years to come. So, you'll want to keep an eye on it and beware of the Aura Boros. All right, if you enjoyed this video on Cardano, please like it and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next Crypto Apocalypse.